I got my, my second appointment to uh, BPA in February 2017. At that time, the project had been completed and they had been uh, generating uh, electricity for four years. Um, there had not been any serious or major uh, issues, engineering issues for them to deal with and, and things were running quite smoothly. The, uh, the Chinese contractors left behind a few Chinese who were to work uh, with us. Their term ended uh, four or five months after I took over and I made it a point that the uh, Ghanaian engineers and technicians had worked with them for four years and they should be able to carry on with the assignment and so refused to uh, renew their contract and uh, they have, I mean our, our Ghanaian uh, engineers have acted uh, with discipline and they managed the plant uh, so well to date. And I do not think that anybody has found any uh, fault with it. We do bring in some uh, eminent engineers across the globe every year to come and do inspection at our course, uh, both to look at our systems and the infrastructure and make some professional statement as to the integrity of the dam and uh, the nature of uh, the systems that we've adopted, whether uh, they are in, in tune with international standards or not. And, and so far, I think we've been uh, working quite creditably yeah, uh, uh, your decision to to terminate the contract for, with, with not to terminate, but to refuse to renew to refuse to renew yeah. the contract for the Chinese, mm -hmm. and now instead of uh, expatriates, you decided that you were going to use the engineers who have probably been trained by this Chinese. How has that helped to make savings? Well, I mean, in terms of uh, the job content itself. I was confident in the uh, in our own engineers and technicians. Two months down the road, when I started work, I knew that they were capable of running the plant without any external assistance. And I think the records have uh, vindicated me. Uh, we have saved ourselves uh, some tremendous amount of uh, money, uh, a couple of millions of dollars. Uh, but beyond that, I mean, I think the most critical thing is to generate confidence in the uh, in in our own local staff and and get them to do greater things. And and as we move along, we'll talk about Chachadu, which uh, was designed and been built uh, solely by our engineers and technicians. This kind of uh, arrangement that you put in place to inspire the workers and let them have confidence in themselves uh, to, to become better uh, employees and also engineers and technicians for the country. And, and, and so uh, in terms of that, you can't even quantify that. But in relation to the uh, uh, financial benefits, um, not less than $2 million in terms of savings. And I think I feel very pr proud about that. So somebody would have de de decide to Continue. maintain, maintain, maintain them, but you mm -hmm. chose to not to renew the contract. You were banking your hopes on confidence. Why? Why? Well, be, be, what did they do to prove that indeed, if you uh, right. let them do, they, they, they will be able to okay. live um, up to expectation. Okay. At the time that we were building the dam in uh, 208, 209, the initial stages. We combed around to see whether there are engineers and technicians who have experience in dam construction. We didn't get any. And, and for me, the answer then lied in getting a bunch of young engineers who had just finished school and without much experience and bring them so that they learn on the job. And we took uh, at that time, in 13 uh, civil engineers who, in, in reality, we didn't need that, that many mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, engineers. But the whole idea was to expose as many engineers as possible and young ones to the ex experience of uh, dam construction. Then, uh, before the dam was also completed, I started it, we brought in a couple of uh, mechanical and uh, electrical engineers and my uh, uh, the, the gentleman who followed me or I took over from him mm -hmm. the second time round also pursued the same principle. One year before the finish of the dam, we took uh, over 30 uh, technicians and engineers to VRA for them to be trained mm -hmm. in the, in the uh, both in maintenance and operations mm -hmm. of the dam itself. And, and in the main, uh, by the time I got back, they were quite adept. And, and responsible for whatever they were uh, doing. I didn't think that we needed to pay extra money to keep some other people to give uh, oversight responsibilities when indeed we had all the uh, technical competences within the country. And so it's, it's a decision that, I, as I'm saying, I feel proud of. And I was convinced that we're not going to have any any major problems that we couldn't I mean, so far, we've been uh, handling all the maintenance issues except um, the A-level uh, maintenance scheme, which means you strip the entire uh, unit down to the basic core, the concrete core, and reassemble them. That is where we have had to call back the uh, uh, contractors to assist us in the process, and, and I'm sure in another uh, five years or so, when they have to do a level A maintenance, they will do this uh, ourselves without bringing in any external or expatriate engineers.